This is Commander Christopher Draper of the Navy of the United States of America, planet Earth. Former co-pilot, Mars Gravity Probe 1. On our third orbit of this planet, we took evasive action to avoid collision with a meteor and were forced into dangerous gravitational pull of Mars. We were forced to abandon ship. As of now, the vehicle frame is still orbiting Mars. Seems to have established gravitational balance. Ejected capsule without incident. General Dan McCready ejecting after I did. I'll set out to look for him tomorrow. From all indications, he should be on the other side of a high range of rocky peaks to the west. Now, my two most difficult problems are air and water. I have, with what's left in my tank and one reserve cylinder, enough oxygen for oh, about 60 hours, depending, of course, on how much I exert myself. My first discovery was that the air on Mars is far too thin to support human life. As to water, by severe rationing, I can get by for about 15 days. Of course, once my air gives out, water won't matter. First positive survival point. I found a yellow rock. It's as burnable as some of our poorer grades of coal. Heat's uneven, but it should make the Martian nights endurable. a little bit like Columbus, set down in a strange new land full of new wonders, new discoveries. It's a challenge, all right. Challenge to my training. Sometimes challenges can get mighty big. But I'm going to stay alive, believe me. That's for the morale officer.
Well, I've licked the heat and shelter problem. Breeding, that's a different story. Moving about, exerting myself, I found that I can breathe the air of Mars for about oh, 12 to 15 minutes before I need to take air from my tank for a booster. Lying down, asleep, inactive, I can get by for an hour before taking a booster. In this way, with some discomfort, I can conserve my oxygen supply. At the most optimistic appraisal, I have 50 or so hours of life left, God willing. The problem is sleeping. If I don't wake up in time to renew my air supply, it's hearts and flowers. I've got to make some kind of alarm device to safeguard myself. Tomorrow, and morning's only a couple of hours away, I'm going to rejoin Mac. Little old Mac. I bet he's got these problems with <laughs> 